So, I was trying to make a video earlier, but the dog was too loud, even for me. So, um... What I was thinking about is I think there's an ancient argument between um, the believers, the atomists, and those that believe in flow, those that believe in things bouncing around, and those that believe in flow, flowing around. And I consider, in every significant respect, this to be a, uh, a settled question in that this is what we have found with quantum mechanics, that the little tiny bits of stuff are flow-like. On the other hand, they do break down. There is a discrete nature that's you know, reminiscent of atomism. So no doubt our idea of flow and our idea of little bits of things, both of those are broken. There's got to be a, a view that incorporates them both. And I think quantum mechanics, you know, points us a little in a direction uh, that we're going to have to go in that regard for, you know. Um, and I think the bigger picture is that everything is flow. And this discrete nature comes around for different reasons. Kind of because of the cross-section. You know, the, the world is like a fractal recursive function. And so it has, you know, uh, indeterminable mathematical features that could say to have been in principle determined, but are infinite in detail, making them actually indeterminable, and thus we see what we see in our natural environment. When I... Uh, was younger and especially when I started this language 7.0 idea I was became fascinated with a lot of these root words the rect, struct, flect, flucked um, I called them ions these words that can have ION you know, so struction you know, instruct, destruct, construct construction, instruction structure, what's structure? struct is the root of that flucked, flect these ones are all related to flow. Flux being total energy in your flow. Uh, flect being uh, the, the change in the flow. Re with different kinds of flexion. There's reflection, deflection. There's fraction, which is a different kind of flow change. There's defraction, refraction. And I analyze these words a lot. They mean a lot to me. Making sense of them, I think there's a lot of reasoning about flow in the language. People need to learn more of this because flow is how we rectify the differences between groups and individuals, between the case-by-case -case and statistics. Because there's a system. Statistics is very useful, but the confusing part, I think, for people is that uh, they take it as a way to reduce a dynamic system into a static thing again because they're trying to get things not flow but if you leave it flow and realize that statistics are a, a, a snapshot a flow statistics are like one frame of a hour and a half long movie and you haven't really reduced the flow to a static thing with your statistics you but you have gotten a snapshot given a series of those, you can start to do a lot of amazing things to reconstruct the real situation, or model of the real situation. So, um, I noticed that these words, struct, flux, flex, they're a lot about engineering, the engineering of flow, the engineering of struct. And I think maybe this is the, the dichotomy, really. It's struct versus fluck. And both of those are very important models, but when they come face to face, it has to be flux wins. Structs is interesting, but really, 
it's just a simulation of structure that we create with a long-term, steady, sustainable system like a skyscraper. Cheers.